How do I put this without doing admin stuff? Lila, I'll kick you in the head, dude. You need to chill. Relatable. Very interestingly, my wife's got a friend upstairs. Sit. Go, go. Now you stay there. Fudge your roonies. Oh, you got a light, mate. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Good morning, you stinky scotch egg. We're going for a drive. You're coming with me. I'm bro, that's, that would be an amazing thing. Except I'm really stinky at the moment. Really stinky. I think I've worn this hoodie over the top of a t-shirt, a different t-shirt for the past like three workouts. It's very gross, but uh, I didn't smell it this morning. I didn't smell it when I woke up or when I packed this gym bag last night, which I didn't pack a gym bag because um, because I'm going to shower at home. That's all good stuff to... That's all good stuff to... <laughs> what an idiot. All right, we're in a better mood today, which is great, isn't it? A uh, couple things happened last night. Did they? I don't know. Yes, they did, obviously. Uh, so one thing... It, sorry, to tell you what's going to happen today. A little bit of what's going to happen today. Uh... I'm feeling we do the hand in beeswax video, right? But I quite like the idea of doing it two ways. Now, Oliver, why would you want to do it two ways? <laughs> well, one for experimentation and two, because I was looking at the analytics of the 24 hours hand in lotion video and they're pretty good analytics. You know, three seconds at 70% watch time, uh, retention. Um, there's one big drop. I haven't really looked into it. I looked at it right before bed last night, which is a terrible thing to do. Don't do that. Don't do that. So there's there's that, which, which fills me with a bit more confidence knowing that the video still did pretty well in terms of retention. So there are some things I need to tweak. Uh, I'm not ready to say it's the algorithm being silly sausage, but uh, it makes me realize that actually I didn't just bomb it. There are some tweaks to make, so I'll, we'll dig into that in a bit. I, I, I really like doing that. Next thing, I had a chat with a guy last night. We've been following each other for, I guess, like a year or two now on social media, and he is with the agency, the talent management agency that I'm considering. And he only had really good things to say. And just listening to just some of his experiences were, were really good to hear, really uh, positive for what the future could hold. License plate on the car in front is sit boy. Sit boy. Don't really, yeah. <clears throat> So just, just drive with me for a little bit, right? Because I have a couple of topics that I, I wanted to, to talk about that I think might be interesting. So my wife and I, we've been together since we were like my second year of college. So what's that? Uh, 2015? No. Yeah, 2016. 2016? That doesn't make sense. Anyway, it's like 10 years or so. Why are we all breaking? And I have changed. I know that I have changed a lot. Like we met literally right at the beginning of me changing my, like turning my whole life around. And I'm now a very different person to what I was back then, which got me like, my wife has, how do I put this without seeming somewhat, you know, condescending or back kind of remarks. My wife has improved as a person, like you would not understand. Um, but my, <laughs> okay, cool, Oliver, your wife's better, cool. My point was that you are, let's say, let's say you're married. You are two people that meet at one point in your life. And like in Shay and I's life, I've changed a ton, like so much. 
first thing I thought the other day was if my wife saw me online on social media, she would probably click not interested. She would take the time to tap on the screen or hold down on the screen and put not interested because she just wouldn't, she doesn't, she doesn't get like online persona type stuff. Like she's, she would rather watch like Kardashians or something. Like easy with the judgment there, okay? She would easily, she would prefer to watch that or like Housewives of Atlanta or something, which is juicy over like vlog content, for example. She thinks the idea of like a, a person being someone you watch is weird, which I can get. I can't get behind, but I can get. Um, so, so what are the rules of engagement around <clears throat> you grow together, but you also change a lot? And yeah, yeah, you grow together, but what happens if you change so much? Like you like who you've become. And let's say your partner doesn't like that. They preferred the person you used to be. I think you work on it for a while, but if, th if that, you know, for each, uh, the way I see marriage, each person should be happy, obviously. And if that means that you aren't together to be happy, so be it. Now, this, this is not me venting from how things are with my wife and I, because things are great. Things are good. Uh, could not change anything now. I just think it's very interesting how much I've changed in our relationship. Um, and how, you know, Sh Shay may see that, or like how that is for other people's relationships. Oh gosh, hold on a minute. We got more topics, Oliver. Oh, and then I, I thought the other day, so I like flying FPV drones where you have goggles and the drones can do flips and whatnot. I like flying them, I'm just not very good at them. And I mentioned in a pod vlog a while back that I don't know if I'd be bothered. I don't want to be that good. So much so that I'm willing to put in the time for it. And I'm, I'm okay with that. But then I thought the other day, Rugi, my son loves, our son <laughs> loves drones. So what if I just got, I wonder if he would like that as he gets older, if I'm just like sick of flying drones, I just make him feel like a donkey because he can't do it. You know, that would be really, really rad. I just thought like, what, would he like that? Would he, could that be something that him and I do for fun? I don't know. Potentially, but I think we're, we're a little way off of that yet. Okay, so yeah, we've got that, good. Uh, oh yeah. I hate doing admin stuff. I'm not talking about just for work i'm talking about for life in general i hate it so much and i keep putting it like putting that kind of stuff off and the other day it hit me like just how bad i am with that admin stuff so as soon as it hit me okay there was obviously something that needed to be done that i realized there and then and that's when i had this like you know light switch moment this realization like oliver you are really bad at this stuff and that's it's not acceptable that you're bad at it at this point in your life. So I decided there and then that I would, like in that moment, take care of the things that I saw and consciously make an effort that anything now on, like around that admin stuff, I should just take care of there and then. And no one cares about admin stuff, do they? But what I care about in that is taking action when it's so easy not to take action. It can be so easy just to be like, oh, I'm bad at that and it's, it's whatever, I don't really care about it. But there are things that need to be done and should be prioritized. 
and even if you don't like doing them, they should be prioritized. Which, interestingly, I think it was, a, again, a Jordan Peterson video. He was, maybe it wasn't, I don't know if it was him, saying, why don't you just fill your day up with tasks that you enjoy doing? Take out the tasks that you don't enjoy and just do the things that you enjoy doing. Now, obviously, you have to be in a position where you can afford to not take care of those things. So like pay someone else to do it and just do the things that you want to in a day and, and look at life as I get to do this versus I have to do this. That's a real mindset shift to, to try and get into that spot. Because like for me, every day, unless I have a, a big deal that comes in that covers me for you know a month or two, my, my thought is, okay, I have to get this done. I need to, I need to work. I'm not thinking I get to make these cool videos, cool videos, as if like I'm saying they're cool videos. I don't get to spend my time doing something that I, in, uh, I have the opportunity to do something that I enjoy. If I flip it around in my mind, can I, I'm just trying to think if, how am I able to flip things around in my mind to believe that actually, like forget about money. Like just take that off the table and think, I get to do these cool things. Like the money will come from doing it. And I'm just trying to work out like if that is a is that a good thing to do for like the work that I'm doing? Or is that actually just a really stupid thing to do from a, um, an adult responsibility side? Gee, bro, I don't know. Oliver, you should finish that thought before you move on. Okay, so could I do that? I, instead of just taking a whole month, I guess I could just take like the rest of the week. It's Wednesday, We've got three days. Just take this week, forget about money and just do the things that I want to do. How do I take money off the table? Just like a mental switch that I have to somehow turn on or turn off or whatever, S switch to a different setting. <laughs> Let's do it. Frick money, dude. Get Take money out of the equation. Let's do this. Let's just have three days, not thinking about money, just doing the things that I enjoy. You know what's really tough is that with this one guy, I have a couple of things in the pipeline that could be huge. One of them is the Panasonic partnership. I don't know. Okay, so let me just give you a quick breakdown. They messaged me a couple of months ago. We did a video together. Uh, it was under my typical rate for what I should charge, but there are lots of factors that made me accept that. So I made the video, flopped, like I just couldn't understand it. Metrics were really good, couldn't understand why it flopped. And I told them that I was like, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. That's not a fair exchange of value, even for the rate that you paid, still not a fair exchange. So I was like, let's, let's choose this product. I'll make a video for you and let's see how well it does. And then we'll like, I, I want to savor this partnership, but I also want you to feel like you got, you know, what you wanted out of this, got some value out of it. 
So I did it. Two million views. Easy, my easy boy. Uh, no, I don't know what that was. Um, but uh, great. The guy I was working with said he he was really pleased with me. Love the content. Love the way I work. The agency he was working with. Uh, same then Panasonic same and so now it's just a case of I, I hope it's just a case of figuring out okay uh, what kind of partnership do we want to get going forward um, how do we want to build out this partnership? Because I've proven that, number one, I can make a video that does well. Number two, I'm professional to work with. And number three, I'm willing to do what it takes to make the partnership a success. Now, I've been speaking to some friends that have, I guess, somewhat similar sizes to me, who've been doing deals that are like a a three video deal or a 10 video deal with brands of this size and you would not you would not believe it uh so one guy uh in the tech niche he had three separate deals come in in the same month and those deals were would you just call it this three videos three months exclusivity which means he can't do um a paid partnership with a competing brand, competing product. 15 grand a video. So he's made 45 grand off of three videos and he had three of those deals. And another guy I spoke to recently has just done a 10 video deal with a company and that came in at 140K. So the guy that I'm working with to go through all of this doesn't get back in office for like another week or so. And I am chomping at the bit to try and get, you know, to, to try and move that forward. I have to try and play it cool. Cause you know, I'm a sweet, cool fella, but I'm hoping. And I'm wishing, and I'm not a religious man, but I'm praying. All right, let's get in. I'm gonna shower, thankfully, change this top, stick it in the wash, and then get into some work. Oh, and then, I think first thing, we'll talk through the analytics from the video. I think those are interesting. All right, see you in a bit. How would you like to hear a nice little morning moan? Okay, so first thing is, I uh, got a letter saying that uh, the mortgage loan provider that we have uh, has been, someone has gotten the information and stuff. So they've provided a nice bit of identity theft service. All right, so first thing is you go to the website and the, the first piece of information you have is input a reference number. So of course I'm looking down my paper, I'm like, oh, please reference membership number as if I have a choice in referencing my number. That's the first bloody field. Okay, that's number one. Number two, uh, I go to enter in a password and it gives, the, the Apple gives the freaking, the password that looks like it's taken the LGBTQ thing and just added a couple more letters. So where we'll be in six months. From that point, it's just auto shifted to the top of the screen. So I have to scroll back down. How frustrating. And then it's saying, would you like to save password? As if like, who doesn't click save password? Because I'm not going to remember that. It's also, I don't, you know, I, I should write this down somewhere. Uh, we've got five bullet points here of what you need to know, but it, oh, the internet is gone. The internet's dead. Mid setup. That's really good. That's the other thing from yesterday that was annoying. The internet was going in and out all the time as I was trying to do my bit. So that's why yes, that's that's part of why yesterday sucked so much. Wait, is this internet again? Welcome back, sign in. Well, I hope you remember my password. 
He did. Uh, I, I don't know where the setup steps have gone, but I guess that was actually more simple. All right, I'm going to finish this and then we'll go through the analytics. Yes. You know what? First question is it's like to verify your identity, right? And it's you may or may not have opened some kind of loan in and around this date. Please select the dollar amount range. Okay, it's an auto car loan. Uh, here are my options. $415 to $514. And then it goes all the way up to $715 to $814. I, I'm going to be honest, first time I read that, I thought that was I thought there was a K at the end. So that was thousands. I was like, who in their right mind is purchasing that? But also, who's getting a loan for $415? That's a... That's a stupid question. People do that. Okay. All right. All right, you cheeky stud muffin. So what you see right here is a... I, I, I forgot I did this a while back. But I started to make notes of all the videos that I've posted and record what I think are the most important metrics from it. And you can quite clearly see that column Q we're just, uh, let me break down why it performed badly, because it's very interesting to see it compared to other videos, because like I said, I thought the metrics looked kind of half decent. First thing is, number of likes, way low. I mean, let's compare that to the next closest video. So we've got 34,000 here, that's views, and that has, we'll call it nearly four times the number of likes. Somewhat similar with this, the floating bouncy house video. So we're saying likes aren't very good. Why aren't the likes very good? I'm not sure yet. So let's work that out. Uh, I'm going to put... I'm not going to do anything. I know that that... Okay, number of comments. Actually pretty high in comparison. So let's say 36,000, we're looking at 24 comments. 34,000 views were looking at 17 comments, so pretty high on the comment scale, which is good, which showed that it compelled people to watch. But actually, I would argue that a few of those have come because one girl was offended, and then a couple of viewers came to be like, you shouldn't, basically, you shouldn't be offended by that, which is nice. Number of share, saves, not great. Not great. I, I'm not sure of the math on how to do this. I'm not ready. I don't want to do it just yet. But I want to work this out as percentages to set a range. Like, to I don't, Actually, I think the problem was that Google Sheets doesn't support it. But I want to be able to, like, whenever I put the number in, I want it to show red, yellow, or green based on if it's good or not for the other metrics that are shown. So like, I have no idea, right? Just looking at this, I have no idea if 32 saves on a video that has 30,000 views, is that good? Is that bad? Um, number of shares, pretty shoddy. Why didn't people share it? I don't know, I, I feel like I'm going back to a place of, the more dramatic I make it, the more likely people are to share it because there's like tension involved. That's what that's where my mind goes. I'm not saying that's the right answer. Then we look at the length of these things. It was 74 seconds, so it's one of my longer videos actually. So 74 seconds of views that, you know, doesn't matter really. There's not really a very good metric to use, but what we are looking at is the average watch time, as you can see here, it's lower than every other one here. Interesting to see though, how much higher the 24 hour solar panel one is at 54% than something like, let's say this magnet fishing video, which is now at like 8.5 million views. And that has 9% less watch time. It just goes to show that 
looking at these metrics, you have to take them all into account to understand what's going on. And even then you probably can't understand what's going on. <laughs> Watched full video. This is low. This is very low. We had a massive drop off at the right at the end of the video as I expressed what I was going to do in the next video, which is a shame. Like I like giving people a reason to want the next video, but maybe I shouldn't be doing that. I'll just let the algorithm do its thing. Like my thought was by telling people what to expect next, they would follow and then, you know, in a couple of days they would come back for the next video to try and see if they could find it. Maybe I just don't do that anymore. I think the payoff needs to be the last thing in the video. The payoff being the result. Then we have, this is kind of interesting here. So at 60, at three seconds in the video, which is the place where uh, if you have a huge drop by three seconds, just say goodbye to the video. You may as well just take it down and restart. I just do a different hook, in my opinion. So it's at 69%. Riz, absolute riz. And then let's compare that to like this video here, the World Cup penalty two. What's that at now? That's at 1.1 million now. Interesting. Yeah, well, <laughs> um, what's the metrics on that now? This is the fastest penalty kick in. So 1.1 million. And I'm looking at the three second watch time. Here. Oh wait, <laughs> I can just see that as a percentage. Three seconds. Yeah, so 78% still. Um, but then you have something like the magnet fishing video. That's, at, that's down at 66% and I think that is my highest viewed video now. Hang on a minute. Oh, what the, what do you want? Do you want me to send you this video of you or did you already do it? Oh yeah, can you airdrop it to me, please? Thank you. <laughs> yes, please send it. Okay, thank you. All right, cool, bye. Bye. Except. Uh, okay. And then we look at, at 10 seconds. It's high. You see what I mean? It doesn't make any bloody sense. That's higher than most of these that have done well. V very interestingly, magnet fishing is down at 46%. And then you've got one here with 55%. I don't remember that video doing like crazy well. And then 60% here on the solar panel video. I don't think the video went past 300K. But here is the kicker. That ending, I think is what, I think the lack of engagement and the ending is what really killed the video because let's say I take out my section at the end. We have 22%. Like it, it drops by 9% over three seconds. Terrible. But if this is at 22%, then we are in line with, with all these other videos. I reckon if I pull that, because that, sh that should do numbers, that should do really well. Oh, I saved this screenshot a while ago that I think would be perfect for this situation. 
help me understand why. Just hold on. Let me scroll past the photo of a friend of mine with a chair leg up his ass. I swear that's legitimately a photo I have in here. I've actually got it twice because I tried to use the, you know the highlight feature on an iPhone where you like hold down the subject and then you can turn it into a sticker. I tried to do that, but it wouldn't work. All right, it is in here. It's, a, it's, I can't remember the dude's name, but he broke down like what it means to have low views, low, low likes, comments, saves, shares, etc. And it was like, if this is low, do this. He basically like broken down the meaning of each of those. I do have it in here. I, I should just look for screenshots, shouldn't I? Sorry, give me one second. Do you think I should remove these small sections of video? Screenshots, like the, the small pauses, do you feel like I should? What's great is even in my screenshot section, I have the same photo of my friend with the chair leg up his ass. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, so if you've got low likes, then it's a bad idea. That's, that can't be true. Low comments, then there's no emotion. I'm just trying to think. Maybe we'll step through the video and see. If you've got average views, then it's a bad hook. But the that can't be it because the three second point is at 69%, pretty high. Give me one second, what is this? Hello? Hello, Al. Yes, speaking. Hi, good morning, Oliver. There's a nurse from Alita House from Russell's. My apologies. Good, sir. Okay, so I think we're on average views as a bad hook. We could look at adapting the hook. And then low shares is that it's not relatable. So I need to make it more relatable somehow. Which I think I know where that is. The hand sticking to the cloth, not relatable. Maybe I talk about winter coming. And being outside walking a dog. What is relatable about dry hands. This, this, is the, this is the stuff I should be thinking about. I need to make a checklist for myself of when I make a script, I, I ask myself these questions, like is the reason for the video relatable enough? Like a checklist. This, that's, the, that's what I need to be doing. Uh, by the way, the dude's name that I got this from, his video, his name is Yasin, Y-A-S-N. I don't really watch a lot of his stuff and I should have liked this video. Maybe I did after I took the screenshot, but it's good. It's a good breakdown. And then low shares means no value. Okay, so low comments equals no emotion. Low likes equals bad idea. That the, the idea is not bad. I know it's not bad because I've already proven it's not. So what do I need to change? Uh, low likes, bad idea. Oh wait, no, yeah. Low views, bad hook, not true. Yeah. It's an interesting breakdown. All right, I've got to jump on a call, but I think we make some changes to this and I, I want to repost it. What are your thoughts on someone reposting content, make, or having made changes? I think reposting a video just as is, just to get more views and likes, 
that's one thing. But like for me, I feel like I'm genuinely practicing and trying to figure out how do I find that middle spot between what I enjoy, how I think videos should be made for people to enjoy watching and how the viewer wants them to be, uh, what, what, what moves the viewer. I figured out a lot of it, but I haven't figured out the whole thing. Uh, I'll come back to this in a second. Pod vlog note. Siri. Pod vlog note. Pod vlog note. Dodford and art being the thing that you want to create. Cool. All right. See you in a second. Hi. <laughs> Fancy seeing you around these ends. Okay. All right. Uh, our priorities next for the, what's remaining for the day is to shoot the hand in beeswax video and to edit it and then to get two clips. But my wife's got a friend upstairs and I need to warm it up first. So I'm just going to wait until she leaves. Which means we're going to figure out why this video flopped, why the hand in lotion video flopped. Got some ideas. Um, we're going to make some tweaks based on the data that we have. Show. Low views means it could mean a bad hook, but that's not it. it. Because the hook shows that it was fairly decent. We'll look at trying to, maybe we'll look at trying to redo it. Here is... Wait, oh, what is relatable about dry hands? Let's ask chat, your boy at the chat, GPT. Um, let's use, here we go, pal. Give me 20 relatable reasons for having dry hands. Cold weather. Psoriasis is one of them. Good. Okay, let's look at our script for this. It is, have your hands ever been so dry they stick to fabric? Oh, that's right, sorry. There was a, a drop off at one point in the video. Just couldn't figure out why. What's going on here? Jinkies. Has that gone up by a thousand? I guess that makes sense. Okay, here's the drop. So let's go view details. Lila, I'll kick you in the head, dude. You need to chill. Uh, like, it's how I expect those long ghetto girl nails to be. Even something like walking the dog. I'm just as underwhelmed by the result. Expect those long ghetto girl nails to be. Even something like walking the dog, where I had, And I thought a condom would be funny to cover it. But that was even more annoying. Throughout the day, they just became a burden. Uh, like, it's how I expect those long ghetto girl nails to be. Even something like... You know what? I thought people... That's very interesting. The nails bit, I thought people would find that funny. I found out what happens if you put just to sleep in, but it did the trick. So this is the one that was in it. But I'm just as underwhelmed by the result as you are, so I'm going to try these beeswax hand gloves next. See if they help. I found out what happens if it was in it. But I'm just as underwhelmed by the result as you are, so I'm going to try these beeswax. Okay, so I think we can cut this segment here and then cut what I'm going to try next. Let's see how that works. Also need to change this bit. Change me. Alright. Okay, let's create... I don't really... 
understand. No, we're going to do part 4.2. Potentially, I think we have to change the hook now that the video has already been out. This bit all needs to be changed. Okay, well, I guess we're taking out three seconds there. So what does that look like? Detach audio. So this is the one that was in it. Look, I'm just as underwhelmed by the result as you are. Oops. I hate this little bit right here. So uh, <laughs> whichever way I move this, I kind of have to try and keep my spot. So here, we'll bring you down a bit. We'll bring you, nope. What the fudge are Roonies? by the result as you are. as you are. Oh. What? I don't want to detach it. I want to do that. Result as you, you are. I'm just as... Nothing's flipping. Okay, that's the right spot. Look, I'm just as underwhelmed by the result as you are. And then I'll redo the captions. Okay. New intro. I found out what happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours. Then next thing I'm going to do is look at how many of the viewers were. So still, 92% of the viewers were for you page. Only 7% were from the following, which means if we have, let's say 30,000 views, what's 10% of that? 3,000. Less than 3,000 people. I'd say like 2,000 people of my followers watched this video. Dude, please, I've done so much for you today and you do not need to be doing, no. <sighs> Silly dog. I found out what happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours. Uh, I don't know if I want to change the hook, uh, but I reckon I could use that as a shot, but with different audio. And has your skin ever been so dry it's actually stuck to fabric? Just me. <sighs> Hours that ended up being 48. I mean, has your skin ever been... I found out what happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours. That's all. For what was only meant to be 24 hours, in lotion, what if? Let me have a little play here. What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for what was only meant to be 24 hours but ended up being 48? I slip these four fingers into four lotion-filled finger condoms. I mean, has your skin ever been so dry it's actually stuck? 
they just kept slipping off. And I mean, listen. I found out what happens if you keep your hand in lotion for what was only meant to be 24 hours that ended up lotion for what was only meant to be lotion for what was only meant to be 24 hours that ended up being 48. I'm just thinking about how I would uh, cover up the mismatch of those two shots. Do I add an extra clip or do I just crop in? I still think it's fairly obvious. I slipped these four fingers for what was only meant to be 24 hours that ended up being 48. <laughs> what if I just go really close and make people stick, get stuck into my ugly face? Hours that ended up being 48. I slipped these four fingers. Dude, I'll punt you. Lila, that's enough. You sit down. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Now you stay there. I mean, you can move, but just like chill out. Okay, this bit, this line needs to change. Uh, what if I go something like every year? My hands, every winter, my hands get disgracefully dry. They just kept slipping off. Up being 48. What? Did this, did this never make sense? They just kept slipping off, and I wasn't really build finger condoms. I slipped these four fingers into four lotion-filled finger condoms. Well, now I think these two clips are the wrong way around. They just kept slipping off, and I wasn't really in love with what other people must have been thinking seeing a YouTuber with finger condoms on one hand. Within the first hour, my pinky ripped, which I... What if I throw the reason in here? Within the first hour, my pinky ripped with finger condoms on one hand. What am I doing, dude? This video should go crazy. Hold on. They just kept slipping off. What? Build finger condoms. What? Is the original video? Hours that ended up being 48. I mean, has your skin ever been so dry it's actually stuck to build finger condoms for what was only meant to be 24 hours that ended up being 48. Okay, that's why. Four fingers into four lotion filled finger condoms. So this needs to link in properly. I slip my fingers into four lotion filled finger condoms. Because, because every winter my hands get like here's just how like where my mind's going. I want do I want I don't know. Uh, I want to put in something gross like my hands were drier than a nun's, but I think that's just too gross, far too gross. But if it hits the right audience, that would be a funny comment. But I think overall, it's just, it's just nasty, isn't it? It's just not, it's not funny. I slip my fingers into four lotion, f <laughs> while I call them finger condoms. 
filled finger condoms because every winter my hands get disgracefully dry. They just kept slipping off. But the finger... I slip my fingers into four lotion-filled finger condoms because every winter my hands get disgracefully dry. But... That brought its own problem. But those came with... But those came with more problems. How about that? Should we try that? I'll record it now. Dude, I'm, this feels so much better, uh, this intro. Uh, I, something, okay. <clears throat> I wasn't gonna record this bit, but I thought there was something really important that I'd like to bring out or something that I think would be very valuable. So, and play it, see what you think. Ready? Sorry, let me just connect the mic. There we go. I found out what happens if you keep your hand in lotion for what was only meant to be 24 hours, but ended up being 48. I slipped these four fingers. Okay, so we've got the hook and we've got this reason to keep the person staying, which is it was meant to be 24 hours, but it was 48. Why was it 48? So not only are they in, will hopefully they be interested in the, what happens to the hand in lotion, but they also want to know why did it end up being 48 instead of 24. I think that is, I, I really like that. I think I might use that going forward now. Like have your hook and then so immediately something that went wrong with that hook. Flipping love it, bruv. Uh, Took a bit out at the end, tweaked a little bit. ...into four lotion-filled finger condoms because every winter my hands get disgracefully dry, but those came with even more problems. They just kept slipping off. Okay, that bit needs shifting. So if I... This bit needs to be cropped in a lot. And I want to show... My hands get disgracefully dry. How dry my hands are. Because every winter my hands... Let's move it over slightly. Hands get disgracefully dry, but those came because every winter my hands get disgracefully dry, but those came with. Maybe that isn't a good shot. I do have a shot of my fingers that are really badly cracked. I filmed it a long time ago. They looked gross. Is it a photo or a video? Bro, je ne sais pas. Uh, that's when my parents were here, so it was before that. Goodness gracious. Anyway, I guess, sorry, you can see that bit on TikTok, but I'm gonna scroll through and try and find this and then just update that clip and then post it, see how things go. It should go a lot better. Once this is done, I think Shay's friend, and my wife's friend's about to leave, so then we can start shooting. I'll adapt, we'll adapt the intro, the hook, and then we'll go. Yes. Okay, I, I told you we were gonna go and do the, the beeswax glove hand, didn't I? We're not doing that. Why aren't we doing that, Oliver? Well, because I got working on some other things and then I stopped working early to take care of some things with the missus and the pregnancy. Weird pause. What am I doing holding it here? Why am I not just... But, um, okay, what I was going to do is change the intro. I don't know why I'm repeating that because you would have heard that like two minutes ago. Anyway, whereas for me, it's been like four or five hours. Well, longer than that, bloody hell, like eight hours. Um, okay, where I was is the change I made for the hand in lotion video. 
I thought was amazing. The intro where you, you have the hook to the video and then something that's already gone wrong with it. I thought that was amazing. That was like a epiphany moment. But the video has been up for since 1.30, so six and a half hours, 2,117 views. Also, the photo post that I posted yesterday, um, 1,000, posted about midday yesterday, 1,822. It's I don't know. I, that, that, that seems crazy to me. And then the original hand in lotion video. It's just crazy, isn't it? That following, like to me, I think the video is all in the same formula. And, you know, there are nuances as to why one wouldn't do well, but they should, should all do well if they follow a very similar flow. Uh, I don't believe that actually. I, I, I don't I don't know if I believe that, but what I do believe is how can someone how can someone this is a dickhead way to say it. How can someone consistently make videos that do millions of views and then make a video that does this. I think like because I use a formula for the videos that get millions of views, and I use that same formula formula for a video that gets nowhere close to that. Like I know it has to be something that well, I don't I would like to this is where I question how algorithms work and whatnot and changes to algorithms and how they affect the different types of videos, like based on the content management of those. I think that's wild. I think Yeah, a video done in the very same style, how can that hit just two thousand people of Yeah, in comparison. I don't know. I, I yeah, I guess I'm just kind of thinking through it, but we'll do the beeswax video tomorrow, but I think I want to get something set now, which is the hook and to include something that goes wrong in that hook. Like my initial thought is I put my hand I put my hand in beeswax for what was only meant to be 10 minutes, but it ended up being something. I, I have nothing going through my mind. Get the, get the blood pumping. The blood's pumping now. Here's what we have from yesterday. I don't have the hook up on here, but we have the setup one is not to have dry hands and to like find a solution. So then I try putting on a beeswax glove because I got it as a Christmas present. The catch is that I can't do anything with my hands. So I search for difficult, like knowing that I wouldn't be able to, I search for difficult things beforehand. I try like tying laces, uh, you'll see how that sticks in. Maybe brushing your teeth, some handwriting, and I'm thinking the handwriting would be kind of a good way of, of telling people about the series that's to come. And then the crisis that Rugi wants to go outside, but he can't tie his laces. So I ask him to bring us our new matching shoes, which are the Vans that both have Velcro. And then we get to, oh gosh, I forgot about this bit. But 
maybe I could say like even even putting on Velcro was difficult, which brought us to the time, the 10 minutes. So I took the gloves off. It's not like I'm trapped in the gloves, is it? So, uh, sorry. If you haven't seen this before, at this point in the video, something like it's like the lowest point for me in my journey of doing this. But I think this is like, this isn't dramatic in itself. I don't know, this is the part where I struggle between just doing it as is and doing it in a way that makes it more entertaining. Because like this would be perfect if I was actually doing it and Rugi wants to go outside. But what are the chances he's going to come in within that 10 minute period? Like it has to be set up. But from the viewer's experience, it can look very natural, hopefully. What did I say here? Oh yeah, took so long to put on. Time was up. It'd be kind of interesting to then talk through like the ring camera or something. Be kind of interesting? No, maybe? Uh... <sighs> That's my hand in beeswax. Except So I put my hand in lotion for 24 hours for what was meant to be 24 hours, but ended up being 48 hours. I put my hand in beeswax, which was meant to yes meant to moisturize my hands, hydrate my hands, but ended up. Right? Doing something. Just making them greasy or... That ended up just making my life difficult. It's not very compelling, is it? I think these are these moments where like there's a large part of me telling me, oh, don't worry, just go to bed. You'll figure it out tomorrow morning. And th there's, a, there's a huge part of me that's like, yeah, you know, you probably would be in a better space to figure it out in the morning, but can you try for a bit longer now? Like, let's do a bit of a timer and do five minutes max. Uh... I put my, that's my hand in beeswax. What could go wrong? Let's do, should we do Mr. Chat GPT? Uh, can't shift five. Starting and stopping. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I can't do this because I don't know something that went wrong. I guess I'm going to be putting my hand into a warm bees. Beeswax or honey? Into a 
glove of warmed honey. I'm going to be putting my hand into a glove of warmed honey. Dude. I don't know how to explain, articulate what I'm thinking uh, in, a, in a words that this would understand. I'm going to be putting my hand into a glove of warmed honey for 10 minutes. I don't know why there's a comma there. For 10 minutes. Give me a list of 20 things that could go wrong. Allergic reactions, skin sensitivity. Oh. These are quite good. It is honey, isn't it? It is wax. Uh, okay, I just had this thought. There's loads of seed or seed oils in it, which is terrible. And I think about mentioning that, something around those lines, but I don't know if people would, if that many people would really understand that. I think that's more of just the people who are entertained by food, who are interested in food. Staining skin. These are good, okay. Um, pen. That's my hand in. Beeswax for 10 minutes, except I ended up. I don't know, let's just, uh, for, okay, I kinda wanna see if something happens to my hands before I use this, I don't wanna just make something up. With yellow slash Simpson. Maybe, all right, the, the trouble is, that now I want to see the metrics that come through from this video to see if actually they are that bad and the video was that bad or if, which, which is going to tell me, perfect timing, maybe this isn't the best way to start a video off. I, I, I have faith in it. I should try it a few times before just one, but it's, I'm not just because it's my video. I just, I'm so surprised this video is flopping like this, just because of how well the last one did. It's a different time, dude. Okay, well, I think I'm still recording, I am. I'm gonna finish. See you tomorrow.